What's up, YouTube world? It's Ryan with Escotech, and this is a quick look at a video I'd done a while back. There was a lot of interest in how I'd use these magnets to make a phone holder in a video that I did a while back when I set up Bluetooth in my car. And you can see here I just put a strip of magnetic shielding material in the back between my phone case and my phone for it to grab onto until this would happen. This is what would happen about every six months. I'd have a couple magnets fall off wouldn't hold my phone anymore and it would look really crappy. So this is the solution that I came up with. What I'm doing here is taking some of the neodymium super magnets that I had bought just at Home Depot. They're pretty cheap. It, about the next cheapest thing to buy them in bulk, but I've got eight of the, well, I think I have seven of them here, but I've got eight magnets that I'm gonna put in a strip of heat shield. I guess I should say heat shrink, that's probably the more proper term, but it's basically just wiring heat shrink that you'd use to cover solder joints and things like that. These are the eight millimeter magnets and I'm using the quarter inch size heat shrink. You'll see that I'm keeping them stacked, it's just so I can keep all the polarity the same direction in case I were to use this with another group of magnets or something else also magnetic. You'll also see here that I started using a screwdriver just to Pan American tip that's relatively flat is kind of a pushing tool. It's pretty tight and I needed to shove them down a little farther. And there's all eight magnets stuck inside the heat shrink. I'm gonna take it out and compare it to the size of the car here. Now I'd already cut this to the length that I need so you can see that it matches up with the, the same length as my old magnet layout. So now for the last part, I'm just gonna take some flame to the end and shrink down the ends just so the magnets don't slide towards the end or work their way out of the heat shrink. And you can see here on the car I just put a couple dabs of super glue on the back and glued it where the old ones were. And you can see that, that looks quite a bit better and should also provide quite a bit more hold. Here's a quick look at the hold it does provide. The new 8 magnets plus the magnetic shield I have in the back of the case will hold the phone, hold the whole weight of the phone by itself. It doesn't hold real strong but it will hold it all. And now when I flip it over and actually put it rested on the ledge here like it normally would, then it does take a pretty good amount of force to pull it away and it does hold very firmly. So that's it. That's basically version 2.0 of my magnetic cell phone holder in my car. And thanks for watching. Any questions, feel free to ask. And sub if you like the video. Thanks.